Hello, everyone, and welcome to our latest episode of Narrative Sunday here for episode six of Road 96. We can see down there at the bottom that we are a little bit more than halfway towards Election Day, maybe not quite three quarters, 60 percent call it. I am very concerned about the decisions made so far having a grim outcome for us, particularly there that episode two. I learned so much in episode two about the precariousness of our situation, and yet as educational as that was, cannot escape the feeling that losing out on the opportunity to advance the character storylines is going to spell dark things. But rather than ruminating on it, let's find out. Let's continue to do our best and hit continue here. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. On today's show, we'll take a look at our nation's booming oil industry. With the help of our Minister of Oil, we recorded the following. Just a moment, I have some very important news to share. <gasps> You're kidding me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go live to our reporter at the wall. Beatrice, can you hear me? Yes, Sonia. I'm here at the wall where an attack has just happened. With me is Darren, who witnessed the event. I'm on? Yeah, so I was sleeping in my tent when I heard a bang, like a big explosion, you know. When I got out, I saw a huge fire at the wall. Do you know what caused the explosion? I, I think a truck smashed into it. That's right, Sonia. A brigade truck crashed into the wall, killing a teenager on the spot. Nah, you got it wrong. The truck didn't kill the teen. Border forces did. They're shooting kids all the time. Hey, don't grab my mic. Uh-oh. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties. Wish I could say I'm surprised the brigades are behind this, but I can't. Thank you for your report, Beatrice. Have no fear. The authorities will ensure nothing like this occurs on Election Day. Remember, I'll be there live. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach Election Day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Don't support the violence. Vote for Tyrak. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Sorry, that was extremely good news Remember, there. The, the if you polls. Have any information, um, please call the Sonia hotline. I feel like this person's an absolute lock. They're pretty far away, but look at how much energy they have. Uh, the fact that they have don't have a lot of money, it's fine. We can work around that. We count yeah. on your support. And that has been the Sonia Show. Um, the, the polls, that was a huge swing in the polls. That's like a 15 point swing, I want to say, from the last episode. Uh, okay, we can check our gas. Oh, actually not bad. Okay, yeah, no, we're off to a great start. The Petrium Motors Automobile, a strong nation needs strong cards. Um... Let's open this up to see what we've got. We'll take the granola bar. Wait, was I already full? Well, whatever. Uh, we'll grab a few more dollars and... I mean, I'm definitely full now, so unless I can put that drink into my backpack, we're not gonna grab it yet. Car deodorizer uh, keeps cars smelling fresh. So, I feel like we just keep going. Okay, I don't know why we got this as a result of turn on, but... And as a reminder, never stop to pick up hitchhikers, young or old. They could be dangerous. And that's today's Sonia Show. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'm gonna get into a massive car accident. We better stop. Uh, keep driving, probably. Like, this is great. We've got a half tank of gas. I don't know what the uh, gas mileage is on one of these, but... Seems that's good for for a little little bit. We're still at half. 
That seems promising. Um, so we should probably stop. I can turn on the heat. Okay. I can also just, like, not bother him. It's cool, too. Mm, where can I drop you? All my cigarettes are wet. Sorry to hear that. I don't know why we are haranguing this guy to talk to us. Uh, I like Cat Got Your Tongue better than it's rude not to talk, although this does encourage him to take my tongue. Two guys are after me. They've been following me up and down these roads. Up and down. I'm starting to think they'll never quit. Why are they doing that? They want to put a stop to me. I can't let that happen. Of course not. That's why I'm out here in the rain and not in my cab. They're close. They're too close. I'm gonna check the back seat. Okay, no, they're not here. Are you in danger? I think they're fans of hers. Twisted. Hey. Something's wrong with your doors. What do you mean? Uh, but I'm fine with the doors being locked. Why do I want to, uh... Okay, I guess we'll do this. Okay, so clearly... I don't want to drop him off. I want to stay in the car. Please stop. Stop what? I wasn't doing anything. <sighs> it's going to make me precipitate with this guy. In sight. So, if I wasn't 14, which is what my character is, and I picked up a rando on the side of the road who was acting this weird, I would say time for you to get out now. Um, since I am 14, and also I do know who this guy is, I'm going to be more apologetic. I'm not going to do that. Do you know why? Why? That's why. He is going to use that. I uh, believe me. Take it easy. You picked the wrong guy to pick up. You know that. Now drive. Yes, sir. I've had a really bad day and could use some cheering up. So that's what you're going to do. Cheer me up. What do you want? I just want to have a little chat. So go on. Chat. Hey, did you know that Pikachu evolves into Raichu? Uh, I am not... Oof, boy. Oh, no. I don't want to talk about either of these things. Why does my character have so few topics of conversation? Do you have any plans for election day? I'll be there. It's a very important day. You... Uh, I'll be, uh, cheer for Flores. You're already starting to bore me. Guess it's my turn to ask the questions. I'll tell you something else. I've been thinking about killing you. So better give me the right answers. I'm really trying, tell sir. Me, do you listen to the news often? 
Uh, all the time. Yeah, that's what I thought. A kid like you. Tell me something else, and this is important. What do you think about Sonia Sanchez? I can't stand her. It's probably better than who is she. That's how I feel. You're not just saying that, are you? No, I mean it. Mm, good. Sonia did something bad. Real bad. Um... What did she do? I don't want your sympathy. Okay, my bad. No. All I want is revenge. I uh, revenge against Sonia? Who else? Have you been listening to a word I've said? Of course. Revenge against Sonia. Because of Sonia, my sweet daughter is dead. She'll pay for that. She'll pay dearly. Um... What did she do exactly? Is this dangerous? She did not move her finger to save her under those rocks. Not one! Nor did those brigades. They'll pay too. Stop the car. Uh, stop. I've decided what I'm gonna do to you. I'm going to let you live. But you're going to give me your car. Thank you. I can drop you off somewhere if you'd like. It is raining. Uh, I... If he was gonna kill me, he would have done it, man. Are you sure you won't kill me? I'm sure, but don't ask me again. You got it. Uh, I will ride with you. Well, we're already doing better than episode two. <laughs> okay, so to the, if we have any impact at all over the outcome of the election, what we've been doing so far in the last episode or two is really focus in on the vote, vote, vote. And that has swung in the polls. Now, that's not to say that the election is going to occur or that it's going to be fairly counted or anything like that. Um, because uh, President Tyrak here seems like the sort of person who is... Uh, really prone to be a huge dickhead about it. But, to the extent that we can con continue to communicate to the people, hey, the polls are going this way, the polls are going this way, the polls are going this way, um, I feel like that's more constructive than where they were going the other way, where it seemed like he was surging ahead in the polls. Wait, sorry, let's just, just let me take a look. So, they're, they're, we're not vandalizing that for sure. What I mean to say is, if there's to be shenanigans around the election, which does happen in uh, democracies around the world, ah, here we go. That's Get exactly your tapes what. Tapes and snacks here. Tapes and snacks. Um, the more the polls are leaning towards Flores, the better. Uh, thoughts on Senator Flores? Huh. She says she's different from Tyrak. But give us some power, and then we'll see. Okay, well, better the devil we don't know than the one we definitely know. So, yeah. Uh, I can't afford the $10 tape. Not unless somebody inside will give me a dollar. Uh, 
What can I do for you, kid? Got any advice? Yeah, see an RC. Run. Got it? Yeah, what is an RC? Remote copter? A cop working road control. You didn't know that? Man, you don't stand a chance. Okay, road cop. It's at 45%, why not? Greg, I know we're all brigades here, but this teen is bothering me. Well, not that badly. I got three bucks. And I'm not going to bother you past that. Um. Well, shoot. I don't really have a good sense of my character's identity yet. Okay, happy taxi. But I don't think it's worth tr calling them anymore. Ah! Well, I'm glad I checked in here. Now, I may not immediately know why Henry Denton's credit card was in the ladies' room, but also, who cares? Let's just look behind the door. Wow, no mirror. I mean, I can imagine from a technical perspective that might have been challenging. This very soundproof walls. Watch this, watch this. Oh, wow. Sounds like a nice, uh, busy diner. In <laughs> oh, that's the smallest issue of our day. Um, got any spare change? I look like a slot machine to you. Huh? You act like one, so I'll take it. Uh, that is the most luck I think I've ever gotten on two successive coin flips. Uh, Pong, I love Pong. Me too, but only one of us can win, yo. The other must be sacrificed to the gods of Pong. Do battle, we shall. First to three wins. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Yeah, pretty beautiful. Oh, hell no. No! I was not expecting, I thought it was going to come straight across. Okay, okay. Homie sees how it is. Okay, get ready. this wow not only losing but getting perf perfected oh what Alex brought us a drink guess I got lucky defeats hard to swallow luckily burgers aren't I made games by the way me and a chill kid who gave me a ride made furious tanks maybe you've heard of it rings a bell I've even sold some to this diner but they screw me out of my rightful cut. Sorry. Petria, ain't no meritocracy. Don't worry, they'll get theirs. So... Heard about the kid who died crossing? Yo, I got eyes and ears and an IQ of 180, dog. What happened is awful. Really think the brigades did this? I don't, and neither does Flores. Yeah, homegirl knows what's up, I think. At least on certain issues. I just had an idea. Time to take what's mine. Come on. Can I stop by the ATM with this credit card first? I don't want to not extract whatever we can, because I don't know if I'll have the credit card in our next scene. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. Hold on a second. Alex, don't do anything weird.
Um, well, I can get 60 bucks, so why would I go for 61? It is a lot of cash. Sorry, I was watching the, the money slide up. Okay. Uh, Alex? Oh. The job's simple. There's a room in the back where they keep their cash. I should be able to hack in. It's stealing, but it's not? Exactly, homegirl. Come on! Do you maybe want to take off your giant backpack with the antenna Yo, sticking out? This digicode is from the age of the dinosaurs. You can open it? I made some sexy digicode tech. One day, scientists gonna study my brain. Boom! What'd I tell you? Oh man, door closed behind us. Gonna re-trigger the digilock. Nothing to fear, but fear itself. I hear that. Now, let's look for the dough. Well, I, Alex, I- A lot of stuff in here. And it smells. Ugh, adults. Check the drawers. And the safe, too. <laughs> Duh. So, there's a little bit of a code written down upside down there. Three, six, nine, it looks like. Uh, all signs point to the terroristic organization, the Black Brigades, being responsible for the heinous attack at the wall. That's the end of the previous episode. Sorry, I didn't really call that out. But if you missed the end of the previous episode for any reason, that was how Zoe got out. Uh, the or the distraction that allowed us to make the run for it, more specifically. The white truck which caused the collapse belonged to Connie Samford, 33, a known member of the radical organization. So, I... There's only one number there. Oh, September... The heinous attack of the wall. But wait, that's 86. Is that a typo? Regardless, regardless. Um, so sorry, 369 is one possible code. Black Brigades found guilty. No, look, this is 86 again. After unanimous court ruling, dozens of brigades have been arrested for their crimes against the state. Though it is rumored that several important members of the terrorist organization managed to escape and are still living among us, posing as harmless citizens. Hold up. There's an article here on the attack. Dude, I am making so much money. Well, making. <laughs> hold on. Uh, hold on. Let's open this. Take the car key. Yes, please. Take a look at this. A nation heals, also in 86. Three months after the cowardly attack and the nation is well on its way to recovery. Along with the fully restored wall, Tyrak is also increasing security at the border, vowing like vowing nothing like this will ever happen again in our country. Praise Pe President Tyrak. So that's a decade ago. A decade ago, this guy was in power, whether or not that specific event drew him into power. But he was also president. I want to say, didn't we determine that he was president on the day of the mountain attack as well? That was then blamed on the brigades. Thomas Carson, a car card-carrying brigade, serving his sentence for terroristic involvement, says the leader of the brigades has never been caught and is still at large. When asked for information on the leader, Carson would only offer this person's initials, B.W. Uh, do I know any B, Bills, Bonnies, Bettys? I'm trying to remember the name of the truck driver guy, but I I'm pretty sure that we have met the leader of the brigade. So, three... Is it 396? Hold on. It's, it's the only number here. 369. Let's try it. Oh, no, it's a four-digit code, and I don't know what the first number would be. Stay focused on the money? Bodies of certain brigades believed to be at the wall were never found. No way. My bio parents might still be alive. 2672, by the way. It was written on the back of the thing. Really? Okay, we probably don't have a lot of uh, guesses at that. You gotta open the safe? Use my tech. This article is important to me for personal reasons. Okay, we've learned how to hack. 
You guys saw it though, at the top right hand corner of the panel, the page, panel, the page that Alex is reading, there was a code written. I'm frustrated to not be able to find the code myself. Like, I'm, I'm glad that we can hack. Um, we could put in 1992, but that doesn't seem very likely. There's no numbers on here. The shark machine. I, I'll just use the hack then. So I think about $60 we can just give to Alex straight up. <gasps> I hear someone coming. Hide. Hide. I should have hidden in the one that was locked. Shh. Be hella quiet. Hella quiet. Been in the back room lately? Looks different, like someone's been back here. Yeah, I'll check. Just give me a second. Bad news. It's empty. Okay, I'll sit tight. Uh huh. Okay, bye. Oh, no, 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 no! Hey, who's in there? Run! Hold on, just whatever you took, give it back. Uh, let me go? It's your lucky day, kid. Get out of here before I change my mind. Oh, sorry, that's not the sprint button. Um, I mean, I, I really feel like we should just run, but do we think that Alex is around anywhere? No. Um, let's add more crimes. Yeah, seems like we're getting off the main road a little bit, which is fine by me. Get in, Mitch! With pleasure. You, drive! I really gotta stop pulling Don't over. Look at us. Okay. literally said, don't look at them. Okay, if I don't look at them, is there a way to progress this? I'm gonna get shot. Hi. Hi. I don't want to get shot. <sighs> oh, eat? Sure. You don't, you don't mind if I have a quick snack, do you? You guys, if I look over to my right and I get shot, I'm gonna be really mad about it. Also, the, look at the sky. You guys, the sky is so weird. Okay. Um. What do you want? Just do what we say, and you won't get hurt. The gun is making me very nervous. Okay. Gun is making me nervous. Shut up and step on the gas. Step it on the gas. Our moto not starting outside the laundromat after we rob it. Humiliating. Uh, you think I don't know that, Stan? It's your fault, you know. My fault? Oh, that's rich, Mitch. Uh, I'm just a kid. You know what, Mitch? Maybe you should find another Robin partner. Well, uh, maybe I should. Like this kid. Uh, why me? Fine. Take the kid. She's clearly a criminal anyway. Uh... What is happening? Hold on, hold on. Before we end the best Robin duo ever, let's take a deep breath. Yeah, we shouldn't rush into this. This is big. Um, 
Taking deep breaths is good. I know. Let's put the radio on. It'll help us forget about the laundromat. Good idea. A laundromat robbery happened about an hour ago. Ah, oh, jeez. Witnesses say the two robbers, both dressed like they were into S&M role-playing, <laughs> argued the entire time. Though the suspects only made off with $72 in quarters, they are said to be armed and very dangerous. If you see them, please call the police immediately. We're laughing stocks. And Sonya reporting it, no less. Oh, jeez. Uh, we could talk about it. I think you guys are great together. Well, I guess that's it. Stan and Mitch are breaking up. Go on and partner up with the kid. Yeah, I guess that's it. Wow. Uh, you two should seriously reconsider. Only one thing left to do. To be sure this is the right move, and I'll give the kid Mitch's ultimate bank robin quiz. Yeah. I don't want to take that. Uh... What is that? I, don't, I also don't want to be argumentative. Four questions by which Mitch evaluates your criminal mind. Get enough questions right, and you and Mitch become Robin partners. But don't, then Mitch and I have to... Uh, I don't want to spell it out. I have to, what, have to, spell it out. Question number one of the following, what is the best location to rob? The clock is, uh, ticking. I have terrible luck. A uh, laundromat? Shit! Yeah, that's the right answer. Though jealous, I will admit, I am very impressed. Question number two. When is the best time to rob? Um, from what we've seen so far with these two, early in the morning? Wrong. Robin in the AM is no bueno. Mitch is not a morning person. I certainly am not. <laughs> <laughs> That's strike one. Question three. What is the best getaway vehicle? Uh, motorcycle. You would think, but no. Shit! Yeah, sometimes they break down in front of laundromats. <laughs> Strike two. This is your last chance. <laughs> question four. The final question. What is the best thing to do with your money at your hideout? Dude, the fuck if I know? I've gotten every single one wrong. Um, except for the one that I did accidentally. Um... Dude. Hiding inside the walls. Nope. Because when you change hideouts, you might forget about it. You lost, kid. Okay, I didn't die so far. The head wound might cause me some issues. So I will I would love to know if that was winnable. I tried so I was trying to go by things that I had that I knew that they had done. My character doesn't know. But it's like Oh, what if we just make them think about how great of criminals they are? They'll, I'll pass the quiz and they'll stick together because they'll realize that they were a really good duo. Maybe that did work. Maybe ultimately I did it successfully by answering the questions quote unquote wrong. But right now it feels like I super failed.
we are straight up gonna meet Rachel Amber now. Okay, I am not being invited to go vote down the road. Okay, so we're gonna head... away from the main road. Nope. If I see something that looks like it might hold uh, something of interest, we'll go Mama check it out. Mama Bear. Goddamn cough. Hey, are you okay? Mama Bear. Do you need some help? Hey. You're not my mama bear. You're just some hitchhiking teen. No. Ah. Um, what's happened to you? I had a date with mama bear. Or that? She's police. So I didn't show. I screwed up. And then I got real drunk. Can you ask her out again? Well, Fucking a bad man, young blood. You're looking at Petri as most wanted criminal. Damn! Not even Papa Bear can move this rock. Wait. Nope. Impossible. Come over here. Hey, do you see those rocks ahead? Oh, it looks like the border gate, don't it? Goddamn peak collapse. Took Connie away from me. Who's Connie? Connie was the love of my life. First love, but I... I don't want to talk about that. I want to race. Come on! Race you up the hill! Oh, faster than the wind! Okay, I guess I'm gonna Jesus. run along. My knees! This is a You'll sprint. Never catch me. Apparently, I can go exactly as fast as he can, and no faster. But no slower. I'll run like the wind! Fast! And effortlessly! <laughs> oh, my knees! The pain is excruciating. Oh. I don't know what the finish line oh. is, but you win, but only because I'm I'm a I'm a tad out of shape. Just a little. A soccer ball. Uh oh, you've entered the danger zone now. Um. Can we play soccer slightly after I sack this joint? Oh, the robbers took all my money. I didn't even notice that before you guys. They took everything. I don't have anything to put on the rock. I don't have anything to like afford food. All right, young blood. You got five kicks. In high school, my nickname was The Wall. So you know. Um. Okay, so I don't want to kick it into the center. Yeah. The wall, but I, baby. I also don't Four want to kick it too far now. to one side. Three kicks left. I thought maybe kicking directly down the center would be helpful because what it would do is like like represent like a perfect. Lucky. That one went through where my fingers used to be. You only got two kicks left. 
Better make them good. Wait, should I try to do that every single time then? Ooh, I have double vision. And I went for the wrong ball. Just one kick left. I want to see your best, young blood. What's the score? Tell you what. We'll say you have two goals. Uh, let's go along with him. Oh, mean, but funny. No, not a bad score. As a general rule, the wall does better when sober. Ooh, Jesus. Ah, B. Come on. Let's sit over here. You know about the kid who died? I did. Makes me sick them saying the brigades did it. And what about you? What do you think? I think the voting option. Under Flores, this won't happen anymore. <sighs> I wish I could 100% agree, but I've seen many politicians come and go. Are you feeling better? I do, young bud. Thanks. Sorry about all that before. Yeah, it's just this whole thing with Mama Bear has brought up the past. And Connie. If you want to talk, I can listen. Well, Connie was the love of my life. But she died ten years ago in the peak collapse. She was my everything, young blood. You should have seen her. What was she like? Mm, well, she was young and committed, like me. We were in the brigades together. And beautiful. So goddamn beautiful. Oh, I'll miss her for the rest of my days. I'm very sorry. To, to pivot to the other woman, I don't know about that. Then again, we do know, like, we know, the character doesn't know, that Mama Bear would also be a sympathetic ear for him. I'm actually going to say this. This was not my first instinct, but... Oh, she is. That voice. Oof. And she's tough. Tougher than I'll ever be. But kind and funny, too. Sounds like you're meant to be together. Hmm. Well, maybe we are. But here's the kicker. She's Popo, young cub. And I'm on the wrong side of the law. To make it work, things would have to change. I'd have to turn myself in. I'm a wanted man. Or she'd have to become a revolutionary. <laughs> the world's a funny place. That it is, young blood. That it is. Just so that everybody's clear, as far as I can remember, Mama Bear is Fanny. Like, she made it that clear. Officer Fanny. So, we know that she herself does a lot of bending of the rules to help out causes that she views as just. Uh, can I ask you a question? Shoot. Do you love her? Nah, I, I do. I, I really think I do. Give it a try. Yeah. Hey. You're pretty wise for a snot-nosed teen. You know that? Uh, maybe you should do one of those dating advice radio shows. Um, I was thinking about a career in politics. Sounds good, young blood. Now, if it's all right with you, I think I'm just gonna sit here a while and enjoy the view. It is beautiful. Okay, I fell. <laughs> Sprained my ankle. Um, so, the way back to the road is back there, but you let's... You be safe out there. And if love comes your way, you grab it. Understand me? Boy, he's still a little bit tipsy, because that's the advice we're giving him. Now you just remember what you told me. Oh, um.
Hope to see you down the road. It didn't occur to me that that warranted a response. See, you want to say, well, this isn't really the sort of game that would have, like, secrets to find. But then you find a credit card in a, some random bathroom. And you feel really smart for taking a moment to look at, to look around. Wow, that was a hell of a look. <laughs> I should have played the lottery today. I'm I'm winning all of these incredibly unlikely rolls. Stop excavation order. In accordance with recent rulings, this mine will be closed until further notice. That was in 91. Then we've got um this guy. Open. Okay. New tape. Two tapes on this trip so far. That's that seems pretty good. Eat rotting food. Well, I will. Not because I like rotting food, but any even one energy bar is better than none. I didn't know if there was an achievement or something for having done that. Do I have to take the tape out or do I lose it forever? All right. We got it back just to be on the safe side. By the way, I'm sorry, was there anything else in here? Like, I would have expected to have this incredibly unlikely role to... for it to, like, culminate with, like, getting some cash or something. Because I'm at zero dollars. I guess the rotting food was my reward. Not everything has to be something that's important to remember, because... Uh... What is it, what is it called? Like, like, intermittent positive reinforcement is the most effective kind? If everywhere you go, you always find money, then losing money wouldn't be any sort of big deal. But if you only find money a percentage of the times you go looking for it... If this is a rest stop, like sleep on the cardboard, I will gladly do that. Blah, blah, blah. If you, if you don't know when you're gonna get money next, then any money that you find will always feel rewarding. Even if you have $130 or whatever it was that I had in my hot little hand for just, just a couple seconds. I felt so good that I was gonna be able to, like, make the rest of the way and then also leave some money for the ones that follow. Also, like, I... It's entirely possible that leaving money inside the the rock, or underneath the rock for others to, to make their crossing, that that doesn't do anything. But I'm proceeding as if what it does is help more teens get across the border, which in turn uh, represents more teens on the outside advocating for change. And then hopefully that pays off. Did they get picked up? Yes? No. Car just cooks right, right on by. Alright. Well, we're, we're hoofing it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, call the episode here. Most of the recent uh, episodes of this have been around 90 minutes, so I think if we cut it right here, it should be about in half, and we'll see you in just a few moments for the continuation of episode 6.